Hey guys, Shane here at CrossFit Jeff, helping you go further, faster in fitness. And today, it's it's not a long one. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. It's just a reminder for those of you who need to hear it. For those of you who are sitting at home watching this video, the reminder is this. Life is short. We have a whole bunch of stuff that we want to achieve, whether it be in fitness, finance, career, relationships. We have all this stuff that we want to have, want to get done, want to achieve. And yet some days we don't work towards it. And some days we go through the whole day where we won't even think about those goals. This video is a reminder for you to think about those things. I am a big um, proponent of, okay, some days you need just to forget everything and chill. But if you've had too many chill days in a row, whether it's 51% of the week, you've had far more chill days than focus days. This video is a reminder to get back to work. This video is here, it's designed to, there's a reason you're watching it and it's designed simply to help you understand that you, know, you, you don't know how long you have, right? And I don't ever want you to get to a point where you now can't achieve that goal. For example, let's say that you really want to get lean. You really wanna lose all of your body weight that you think that you're carrying that, you don't not, that, lo, ugh, that no longer serves you anymore. You wanna get rid of it, you wanna shed it. It feels like a burden sitting on your shoulders. Like I need to get rid of this weight. And I don't want something to happen or for you to feel like, you know, all these other things come up in your life where now you have no opportunity to achieve that goal, where you will never know what it feels like to be where you want it to be. So this video is a reminder for you to keep working, to keep pushing. I need you to start asking quality questions of your day. You know, where can I spend more time working on my, my goal? Where, where can I give more? Where am I lacking? What am I doing daily that's stopping me? And then start to answer those questions and live at the highest possible standard, which if you watched my last video, it was about standards. This one's now different it's about quality questions. Once you've asked those quality questions of yourself, I want you to start to get passionate about your goal. What lights you up? What drives you? What fires you up? Okay, that's going to help you. Like fitness is a passion of mine. It lights me up. I feel better mentally. I feel better physically. And yes, it's good to start to see some changes in my body. After you've asked some good quality questions, you've started to get passionate about what you're doing, you've really got to connect it with a purpose. You know, are you doing this for you? Or are you doing this because you feel that other people expect you to be leaner or expect you to be stronger or expect you to be smarter? And, you know, your goals have to be purposeful to you, not to others. Don't do it because your husband or your wife or your brother or your sister um, said that you should or alluded that you should and you start living life through their goals and through what they want of you. Do it because it's purposeful to you. And last, be a master of whatever it is that you're, that you're going for. Start to really dedicate some time learning and refining and crafting your skills in these areas. Let's say it is in the gym. Let's start to research. Let's start to watch videos. Let's start to learn. Let's start to teach other people because the best way to master something is to start teaching it. When you can start teaching others, it means you understand it. It means you're starting to get it. So if it's about weight loss, understand nutrition, master nutrition, get food prep right, understand how long these things take. If it is uh, you know, finance, understand what savings versus income and what expenses you don't need and what your bare minimum requirements are, all that sort of stuff. And you master the knowledge behind all that. Most of my clients are either lacking some skill, knowledge, or experience in their goal, right? If they want to lose weight, they might be lacking some skill in the air in regards to, okay, I don't know how to put this stuff together. I don't know what to train. I don't know how to eat. I don't know anything like that. Knowledge, they might be lacking knowledge. They don't know enough about what they're trying to do. And then experience, because once you have the skill and the knowledge and then you start putting it together day after day and living it, you gain experience. And that's where the years upon years that you've been putting into have led you to this point where you can pull upon all that experience to get more out of yourself now. So a quick five minute, a little video, four and a half minutes roughly right now, just to remind you that start asking quality questions, start living with passion and purpose, start mastering what it is that you want to achieve. And then from there, your goal is here because we don't know how long we have and we don't know if we're going to have any better opportunity in the future to get this. And I want you to know what it feels like to achieve the goals that you want in fitness, health, career, whatever it might be. Yes, we run a facility for fitness and health, but yes, this stuff applies to all of our areas in goals. Until next time, guys, hopefully I'll see you in the gym soon and hopefully having a good day. Have a good one.